Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Brittany, and today we're going to be trying some new drugstore makeup. Now, these products are new to like a couple months old, but I'm here to give my review on them and try them out for the first time. So hopefully, hopefully it turns out okay. So let's just get right into it. The first product we're going to jump into is the Revlon Photo Ready Prime Plus Brightening and Skin Tone Evening Makeup Primer. Complex infused with lemon extract and vitamin E and C. So that's what it looks like. It's a multi-benefit primer skincare formula with powerful skincare ingredients. In instantly brightens skin before foundation application. Improves appearance of skin over time. And that's really all it says. So let's see if it's worth it. I don't have the receipt with me for what I spent, but I believe it was like $17.99. Oh, okay, okay. So it's like a yellowy color, which is kind of interesting. Um, I think I used a yellow primer before and I didn't really like it. So I can't even get the lid off. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's just, I'm gonna take about two pumps on my hand. It feels very creamy. Oh, it smells so good. Um, it smells kind of like a, Citrusy smell, but not too citrusy. I don't really know how to describe it, but honestly, it smells really good. Okay, so the primer feels really creamy, but it soaks in, kind of soaks in your skin. Um, it like it soaks in, but it also kind of stays on top. It's tacky, not sticky, and that's what you want in a primer. It smells really good. It feels pretty nice. Right now my skin feels kind of tingly, but not really tingly. It's kind of weird, kind of hard to explain. Like it doesn't feel bad, but it feels less than normal. I'm not really sure, but like, I'm not sure how to describe it, but. So the new foundation that I picked up from the drugstore is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation for normal to oily skin. So the foundation is on. I really like it. Uh, the only thing, oh my dry patch right here and right here are built it up a little bit and it's kind of cakey but not super cakey. Like I won't complain about it. And on my cheeks where I have the bigger pores, it covers them up for the most part. I feel like it would be a lot better if I put the Poreless Body Primer by e.l.f. on underneath it because that primer is a godsend. But yeah, for the most part, I really like that foundation. It feels really nice. It doesn't feel like super heavy or anything right now, so we'll see how that holds up. I'm just gonna put on some concealer and then we'll move on to the next product. Product. So I've got concealer on. I also set my eye area so it doesn't crease, but I have not set my whole face because the next product we have is the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. So it says, lightweight gel cream applies smoothly for a natural flush of color, fruit, flower, and food infusion infused with skin loving watermelon pomegranate and rose extracts effortlessly blendable application gently dab onto cheeks or lips lips hmm. we might have to try both areas because that kind of intrigues me a little bit i adore the packaging even the box that it comes in is really cute so i don't know exactly how much to use i'm just going to use like the tiniest amount right now and um we're just going to give that a go on our cheeks and let's see how it applies. Okay, so I've got it applied. I didn't apply it too heavily, but um... I also, I've never really used a liquid blush before. I've never owned one. So it's a new thing for me. I don't have anything to compare it to, but I do like it. It went on very smooth. It blended out really nicely. I think I might be reaching for this a lot more than my powdered blushes because this is super duper pretty. And I like that maybe 
it would it, it obviously would give my face a little bit more of a dewy look since it's summer hopefully it you know stays and looks really pretty but now we're going to try it on our lips because i don't have a new lip product to try and it kind of intrigues me that it could be used for lips or cheeks and yes i'm going to do it now you know put that on our I'm not sure if I'm supposed to like dab it on or if it's like a lip glossy type that you should just rub it on. We're just going to try both and see what happens. It definitely turned them a different color. Um, it feels like one of those things you'd have to reapply throughout the day but you know it's nice it's a really nice color and i wouldn't mind reapplying it throughout the day although it would kind of be messy i'd probably prefer just a uh, swipe on but so the next product i have to try is the covergirl lash blush lash blast lash and brow serum it's apparently clinically proven for lashes to look up to 24 percent longer after 30 days so today is the first time i'm going to use it so this is the brush it's clear obviously because it's just a serum and it also says to put it on before your mascara so that's what i'm gonna do feels kind of weird applying um something that obviously doesn't show up It's clumping them together a little bit, so I'm not sure how mascara is going to apply over top. Okay, so maybe I was just using the wrong side on this eye because the other lashes didn't clump up like this eye did. So I don't have much thought about them right now, obviously because I'm not going to see results right now. So, yeah. Alright, so the next product we have is the Physician's Formula rose all day mascara it says extreme volume and length lash lifting blend a highly pigmented extremely volumizing and lash lengthening mascara that conditions and opens the eye area with dramatic full bloom lashes i really like the packaging it's really pretty with the white and the pink flowers this is the brush straight mascara brush and let's just see how it applies I think they work really good for the top ones. They're probably also really nice for the bottom lashes, although I kind of got it all over my makeup and I don't want to ruin it. So I'm not going to attempt it today. However, for the most part, I really like the mascara. It actually smells like roses in this. This is the best, ma best smelling mascara that I ever tried. Packaging is really cute. It makes my eyelashes pretty big for me. This product I really like so far. I think it's a win. This one I'm not sure about, but it applies nice except for the clumping I had on this eye. The foundation, I really like it. It is really nice, full coverage, I would say, maybe medium, but the only thing I have to complain about is, you know, the patchiness on the dry area here and there and, you know, problem with my pores, but again, that can be fixed and the primer i think the primer did a pretty good job it felt really nice it didn't feel too hydrating and it was really tacky so my foundation is sticking really well to it and the blush was super duper pretty i think it's amazing i really like that it's just kind of like a subtle look everything that i have here so far is really nice and i can definitely see myself reaching for it almost on an everyday basis and yeah i hope you guys liked this video i hope it kind of eases your mind a little bit about some of these products if you want to try them and i will see you all in the next video bye guys